Edward and Gordon often went through the tunnel where Henry was shut up. Edward would say, Hello. And Gordon would say, So you arrived. Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out, soot and dirt from the tunnel roof had spoiled his lovely green paint and red stripes. He was cold and unhappy and wanted to come out and pull trains too. Gordon always pulled the express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do it. There were many heavy coaches full of important people like the fat director who punished Henry. Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Gordon could see Henry's tunnel in front, and he thought to himself, in a minute, I'll just go at Henry and rush through and out into the open again. Closer and closer he came, he was almost there. When... Oh dear! Oh, what's happened? Oh, the poor thing! Gordon was in a cloud of steam and going slower and slower. <laughs> His driver stopped the train. Oh, what has happened to me? Oh, oh I feel so weak. And the driver said, You've burst your safety valve. You can't pull the train any more. Oh dear. And we were going so nicely too. Look at Henry laughing at me. Gordon made a face at Henry and blew smoke at him. Stop it. Everybody got out and came to see Gordon. The fat director said, Hmm, yes, I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Send for another engine at once.
while the guard went to find one, they uncoupled Gordon and ran him onto a siding out of the way. The only engine left in the shed was Edward. Um, Edward, Gordon isn't feeling very well. Will you come and pull his coaches for him? Well, I'll try. Gordon saw Edward coming. Oh, he's no use. Edward can't pull a train. Edward Puff and pull, and pull, and puff. But he couldn't move the heavy coaches. I told you so. Why not let Henry try? Hmm? And the fat director said, All right, I will. Um, Henry, uh, will you help pull this train? And Henry was delighted. Oh, yes, uh, certainly. Uh, only do please. So Gordon's driver and fireman lit his fire. Some plate layers broke down the wall and put back the rails. And when he had steam up, Henry puffed out. He was dirty. His boiler was black and he was covered with cobwebs. Oh, oh, I'm so stiff. I'm so stiff. You'd better have a run and ease your joints and find a turntable. Henry came back feeling much better and they put him in front. Edward said, I'm ready. So am I. Pull hard, pull hard, we'll do it, we'll do it, pull hard, we'll do it. The heavy coaches jerked and began to move, slowly at first, then faster and faster. We've done it together. We've done it together. We've done it together. We've done it together. Hooray, you've done it. Hooray, you've done it. Hooray, you've done it. All the passengers were so excited, the pack director leaned out of the window to wave to Edward and Henry. But the train was going so fast that his hat flew off into a field where a goat ate it for his tea. They never stopped till they came to the big station at the end of the line. The passengers all got out and said thank you, and the fat director promised Henry a new coat of paint. Would you like blue and red? Hmm? Oh, yes please. Then I'll be like Edward and Gordon. That will be nice.